the scarves and hats that I created really just started out as a hobby just to see if I could do it. And slowly but surely it started to be, people were asking for it. And so that's kind of where Yellow Cake started. And whenever I decided to go ahead and make my paintings and my knitting a part of my brand, I was like, that's perfect. I'm gonna call it Yellow Cake and Ice Cream. I learned how to knit from a friend in high school. We were in an art class together and part of the curriculum was these different themes and I don't know why but for some reason she was knitting in one of her projects and so she taught me to create a scarf or hat it just depends on how much time I have for it but I could probably finish a scarf in about two hours my name is Sheridan McCorkle I am in a transition with my art. I would like to be a little bit more symbolic and a little bit more abstract. In the past, I've been very exact or quite literally just recreated something. I love to recreate paintings of my family and I love my little brother and I've painted him more than once. So I would say a painting that means the most to me is a painting of our family vacation where he had fallen asleep after he left Disney World, eating his McDonald's with a Disney toy in his lap. I would say to create a painting, something like, something like the one behind me probably would take three days not literally 72 hours, but three days to make it. If I'm working on a painting, I've already created time to work on it, so I'm gonna be working on it all day. I do remember the first time I sold one of my pieces. I was in high school and a past high school student had a business where they created canvases. It was called Signature Canvas, and I was so excited to be able to make something on it. It took me like weeks to figure out exactly what I wanted to make on it because I was just so excited to be working on a canvas. And what I created was a lady with an afro, which kind of seems to be one of my themes that I always do. And I created it in a new style that I had never done before. And I just thought it was so awesome that somebody wanted to buy it from me. My biggest supporter is definitely my mom. Every time I come up with the idea, which I always do, she's like, I, okay, Sheridan, that sounds, you know, that sounds good. And I'll, I'll kind of throw it out there at her, like, what do you think about this now? You know, and you know, she's like, whatever you do, I know you're gonna be successful at it. So she always supports me 100%. I have brought someone in my business to help me out most recently. I brought an assistant in to help with the cake and paint party because sometimes it just, it gets to be too much, especially with a lot going on and alcohol involved. And so I've uh, enlisted another artist who is able to help me set up and also assist with the other, with the uh, guests in their painting when I'm not able to stop and I'm giving instruction. Some of the downfalls I've encountered just kind of deal with, like I said, the supply and demand. Sometimes people want things and sometimes they don't. I know that with the cake and paint parties, I've definitely overspent on a party before, simply because I prefer to just trust in my customers, and for the most part I can, but there have been times when they said they're gonna have 15 guests and end up with six. And now I've spent the money on the supplies in order to do, complete the party. A cake and paint party is basically a spinoff of a paint and sip. But the difference is it's mobile, so I actually come to you. You, book, you have your guests come and I just charge them like $25 each. And I also bring complimentary wine. I'm gonna worry you the whole way. No, no, no. <laughs> if you start to worry, you need to sit some more. <laughs> and a lot of times, the customers that I have that book those parties will be doing it for a birthday or like a girls night or uh, just to get together to come together and just taste wine. 
So what they do in a cake and paint party is they'll follow along with me, um, recreating a, paint, a picture of a painting of their choice. And you just have a good time with your friends while you sip different wine and munch on food, listen to music, joke around. In a cake and paint party, what's included is the canvas. I usually bring like a 20 by 18 inch canvas. I'll bring the paint and all the paint supplies and I'll usually bring complimentary wine. It depends on how many people you have, how many bottles I'll bring. If people want to contact me for any of my services or products that I offer, they can contact me by my phone number, 816-519-8540, or you can shoot me an email, sheridanmcc at gmail.com. I have a website called yellowcakeandicecream.com. It's more of a lookbook, so you can contact me on there if you are looking for something that I offer. I also have my work uploaded to Society6, and that's basically a place, an online store where you can get my artwork printed onto different items such as like tote bags and laptop cases. So my store for Society6 is www.society6.com forward slash yellow cake and ice cream. Or you can always visit my social media sites. Uh, I have a Facebook page, Yellow Cake and Ice Cream. Thank you.